today I have a date with Ed. My fantasy suite with Ed was not exactly how both of us had planned, and I think it messed with both of our heads. But our relationship is very, very real, and I cannot wait for him to meet my family. Oh, Ed. How are you? Good, how are you? When I see Ed running down that path towards me, all those feelings that I knew we had came rushing back. I miss you. I miss you. How could I ever think about letting this guy go? Last time we were together, uh, it was a little, a little emotional, and you had some concerns with me, and I know it wasn't easy for you, you know. And I want to reassure you that I had a great date with you, and just too much stuff going on. Last time Jill and I were together in the fantasy suite, I think um, I was feeling a lot of pressure with everything going on, and um, today I just want to reassure her that I'm serious about all of this, and, and I'm still, uh, still crazy about her and in love with her. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea, Ed. I'm excited, too. Are you nervous a little bit? I am a little bit, yeah. Yeah? Why? It's always a little nerve-wracking to meet parents, you know? When my parents ask you the serious questions, I know you'll be able to nail them, so don't even worry about that. Just have fun. Just be you, because they're going to love you. They are going to totally love you. Okay. The fact that I might be meeting my future in-laws today is a little scary, and uh, my biggest fear going into today is Glenn and Peggy just for some reason give me a feeling of disapproval. I'm going to be myself, and that's all I can do at this point. Glenn, <laughs> hey man, how are you doing, man? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> today, Ed met my cousin Tori, my grandma Marjorie, my dad Glenn, and my mom Peggy. I'm crazy about him, and I hope that they see all the things that I see in him today. Hey. Yeah. Nice to yeah. meet you. I'm, you are. I'm Ed. After what Jillian went through with Jason, I feel like it is more difficult this time. There's a lot of emotions that she's probably had to go through in the last while, and it's really Jillian's turn for happiness. <laughs> We're talking about a decision that could affect Jillian's life. So, can you guys believe that you're finally here? I know, it's been such a build-up, knowing that you had the possibility to meet some pretty cool guys. Really it's cool. It's all... Yeah. <laughs> Terrific. You're good looking. That was <laughs> called the space fade. Yeah. So, obviously, there's been a little bit of magic happening here for uh, you to get to, uh, to this point and uh, and being with Joan. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, do you want to tell everybody your story? Uh, let me start. Okay, you start. Um, so, me coming here was a huge deal because I was married to my job. So I was worried about being gone. I mean, potentially being gone for eight weeks. I was scared and uh, I let it get to me pretty, pretty badly and it started to affect everything. And I, I knew that I liked her a, a ton, but I didn't want to sacrifice my career for, uh, to be here. So. I uh, ended up leaving. I left and uh, I went home. And after the first week, I, um, I, I just could not stop thinking about this woman. I was, like, was driving me insane. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't work. I might as well not even have left because I could not think about anything. And I called the producers and I'm like, you guys have to get me back there. I knew that I let her down. And I let myself down because I knew that there was something there and I knew that I had to come back. I think Glenn and Peggy will definitely be concerned about the fact that I left and they should be. But I also think they'll appreciate the fact that uh, I made another decision and that was to come back and, and that was all for Jillian. As long as I make it clear that I truly, genuinely am in love with Jillian, I think that they'll see that that was a different Ed, just like Jill did. And I think that they'll just know. I mean, they'll understand. So anyway, I'm not going to do to you what I did to Jason. I, I had about mm, 76 questions to ask Jason. Oh. Yeah, and I only have 66 for you. The first question is, do you want to have children? I would love to have, you know, three kids at least. Yeah. How do you see your relationship 30 or 40 years from now? I would love to see Jillian and I here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Retired and enjoying life. What do you believe is the glue that you have between Jillian and yourself that will make this a long-lasting, positive relationship? If you have honesty and love between two people, I don't know what could get in between that. 
You know, as long as you're honest with each other and you really want to work to make the relationship happen. And marriage is a whole other dimension that I've never been a part of. Mm -hmm. But I know that you have to want a relationship to work. Not just loving each other, but being in love and being crazy yeah. about each other. Because right now, I think we're crazy about each other. Uh, but I hope that that would continue. Yeah, really good answers. Thank you, Peg. I think things went very well with Peg. I was happy, and I think she smiled at me afterward, and I just uh, I felt good. I am not worried about how Ed feels about me right now. I know, and it's scary sometimes. He told me he loved me the other day, Mom, because I have a special connection with him because of everything that we've gone through. Yeah. I want to make sure that when life does get normal, he's not leaving and coming back, and that roller coaster isn't there, and that mm. we're still going to be crazy about each other. Yeah. And I think that we certainly need to learn so much more about each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have a long ways to go, but the thought of engagement or proposal, I'm not scared right now. That's good. Not only am I not scared, but I can't wait. Like, if somebody if somebody told me that the, that the day was tomorrow, I'd be so excited. Really? Yeah, I'm really excited. You look very relaxed. You've got a glow about you, so I, I really feel that you feel very strongly about him, and um, that says a lot. And obviously, he went to great lengths just to be with you again. Yeah. And, um, I, I just think that he's crazy over you, and I, and I think that he would make it work. I think Julian uh, has some very, very strong feelings towards you, and judging by what uh, she said, you obviously must have earned it. I don't know how to describe it, Glenn. I'm crazy about her, I'm in love with her, and she's perfect for me. I mean, I would love to be with her forever, and I will do whatever it takes to make it work. And I. I I have no doubts at all. I want to propose to Jillian, and I have thought about, of course, Glenn's reaction to that and, and having that discussion with him. I know it's going to be a difficult one to have. At the end of this, somebody could ask Jillian to marry her, right? Yeah. And I just want to get your thoughts, what you would think about um, me. I mean, yeah. if I were to ask her to marry me, um, like, I mean, how do you feel? I mean, what do you think? I think I'm reading you the right way, and I like what I see in you. I think she's ready for this, and if you are the fellow that's going to be proposing to Jill, I would be really quite happy to see that take place. I'll be doing somersaults. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the truth, man. Hey, I'm ready for my daughter to get married. Thank you, Glenn. Yeah. Thank you very much. Awesome. Everything about today felt right. It was a huge step for me asking Glenn about um, potentially asking Jillian to marry me. I've never done that before, and um, it was easier than I thought just because I felt so comfortable around Jillian, and I would absolutely ask her to marry me now. <laughs> oh, she's like so Hawaiian, look at the hair. Like Hawaiian? I think Jillian definitely wanted to have fun today, and she wanted to see me lighten up. I'd get in there with my dad. I had fun just meeting her parents, and for me, that was the most important part. Woo! Forget Jillian. <laughs> You're all mine, Glenn. Yeah. I believe in my heart that I'm the better guy for Jillian because this is the family that I would love to be a part of. Wow, where are you my son? <laughs> I am just looking at him and thinking I am so proud of him. It could have gone really bad today. I could have brought him over to meet my family, and it could have been awkward or weird, or he wouldn't have fit in at all, but he did. And that is exactly what I wanted today. Woo!